was our pastor born in Greece? He was born in Louisiana Laguna and I guess he was raised there as well. Three. Where was pastor born and raised? Ipinanganak si Sam sa Marquina City at lumaki sa Louisiana Laguna. are some of the individuals that have influenced and mentored our pastor? Um, I think Pastor Ray mentored Kuya Sam a little bit and I don't know if this is mentoring or not but I know Kuya Sam has a prayer buddy or basta a Bible study leader um, from New Zealand. His name is Kuya Alvin, I think. But, yeah, I know they talk a lot, so, yeah. Okay, wait. Who are some of the individuals that have influenced and mentored our pastor? Um, I know that Kuya Sam has a really good friend in New Zealand. I think his name is Kuya Alvin. Um, I know that um, they were each other's... Uh, uh, they were each, other pr each other's prayer partners. And I know that... Um, Kuya Sam goes like to him a lot before, like when he used to learn and like when he was a kid, that's the person he went to. What inspired him to become a pastor? Uh, sa mga elders, sa mga committed na elders ng church, at sa mga lolo at lalo na kay Lolo Tomas. What inspired you to become a pastor? Oh. Uh, my my devotion to God and my love for the church. Who are some of the individuals that have influenced and mentored you as a pastor? Oh, I I think it's my. Small group. It's my small group. Leader. Small group leader in Alvin Trans family. He's now in Auckland, New Zealand, and he he trained me in the faith. And also, uh, IRM Luciana trained me. The environment, or uh, they gave me the right environment to uh, to cultivate my relationship with God and to develop. Uh, How many years has our pastor been in the ministry? Can you name some of the churches or communities they have served in? I know Kuya Sam has been in ministry for many, many years. I know he started at a really young age, like like 11 or something like that. I know that he worked um, as a, he did the projector and um, he did tech before in Louisiana, so that's one of the churches that he served and so I don't know if he was 11 or like 14 but I know he started really young doing um doing that and helping out at the church and then I know that he also served um IRM Edmonton and of course IRM Lloyd. How many years has our pastor been in ministry? 
Um, I think that Kui Sam has been in ministry for more than 10 years. He started very young. So I assume it's more than 10 years. What are some of our pastor's non-ministry related hobbies or interests? Plants. <laughs> I know that Kui uh, Sam took agriculture like for his his um for his university i'm pretty sure but yeah i know that he really likes plants what are some of our pastor's non-ministry related hobbies or interests his hobby is opa just opa <laughs> how long have you been in canada uh, since 2019 so it's four mm -hmm. How long have you been in your ministry? How long? Okay. Uh, turning three. This coming October 17th. Mm -hmm. I previously served IRM Louisiana in the Philippines mm -hmm. as a lay preacher and also in IRM Edmonton as a teacher. What are some of your non-ministry related hard hobbies or interests? Oh, it's, it's reading, reading books and gardening if it's summer. Besides preaching, what other talents or skills does our pastor have? For me, I know that Kuya Sam is a very good singer in every um, preaching that he does. He normally sings, um, and he's an amazing dancer. <laughs> A skill he has is eating. Besides preaching, what other talents or skills does our pastor have? Um, I think another talent that Kuya Sam has is definitely singing. It's something he probably should do more often because we see him and hear him sing all the time during um, his uh, his messages and like just on random times he's just singing. Favorite Bible verse or passage? Okay, favorite. Bible verse is Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you What are some books that our pastor often recommends for our spiritual growth or understanding? Uh, one book that Guisam recommended to me personally it was um, a book and it's called It's Okay Not To Be Okay um, it does take a more um, female perspective on things, but um, he did read it too and he said that it was really good and I tried it and I think it was really, really helpful with just with perspectives with both my faith and the world. Uh, siguro yung lagi niyang nare-recommend sa akin na basahin, syempre is yung Bible na basa lang ng basa ng Bible. Like, if you recommend a book form to me. Aside from the Bible. Aside, yeah, aside, from the aside from the Bible. Aside from the scripture, I will recommend Jerry Bridges' book, uh, The Discipline of Grace. Yeah. Can you recall a sermon series that our pastor delivered that are, that had a profound impact on you? Um. What I probably remember the most, it isn't a sermon series, but um, it's a series that we did for our Bible study. That's the Fundamentals of Faith. Um, that one taught us a lot about um, about God and um, just being Christ-like and having an identity of that. So that one had a really big impact on me and how I saw things, how I interpreted things. So that that's what I remember the most that had an impact on me. Uh, siguro yung pinaka-memorable sa akin is yung preach niya nito, nitong last bago siya umalis ng Philippines, yung about loving God na uh, if we really love God, dapat sundin natin siya hanggang sa wakas ng ating buhay. Uh, other people like Any wisdom? Yeah. Okay. 
do all things for the glory of God. When you do all things for and God's glory, you give your best all the time. And was, was, uh, uh, I got it from the scripture. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, hymn or worship song? My favorite hymn is Mirror My God to Thee. That's the first hymn that I learned when I was when I was just when I was just a child. And it was my father who taught me that hymn. <laughs> Ang buong kaya'y handog, ang tuwa'y di matatapos kung sa kanya'y maglingkod. Kaya well, Sam, remember that song? Yeah. Kung tayo'y maglilingkod, buong kaya ay ibigay sa Panginoon. Alam naman natin na ang ginagawa natin ay hindi mo wala ng kabuluhan. Ang iyong ginagawa ay hindi mo awala ng kabuluhan sa mata ng Panginoon. Kaya, maglingkod na may kagalakan. Happy Workers Day! Hi, Pastor Sam. Happy Pastor's Appreciation Day. And I just want to say thank you for being with us at IRM and teaching us to be like Jesus. And once again, happy Pastor's Appreciation Day, Pastor Sam. Hi, Pastor Sam. Thank you for all the things you do. We love you. Thank you, Pastor Sam, for taking care of the church and also, the, and also us. Thank you, Pastor Sam, for being so kind and thinking, taking care of the church. I love you so much. Hello, Pastor Sam. Um... I am just thankful for everything that you do for our church. Um, I'm thankful for giving rights to the youth, for being our teacher in the Bible studies, and for preaching, for free, for preaching about God's word and help. Hi, Kay Sam. Um, uh, for this video, I just want to say and let you know how much I appreciate you um, as a kuya, as a person, as a pastor, as a leader. Um, you have done so, 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 so much for me. I can't even, um, I can't even point them all out, but you are always there for me whenever I need you're there for me when I'm crying in the middle of the night. You're there always answering your phone whenever I need to call you. Um, whenever I'm going through something, you always pray for me. You always watch over me. And um, you have done so much for me and for the youth. Um, you've helped us all grow so much compared to just like how we were before. We have come such a, um, a far away. And... Um, we just want you to know that we are so proud of you and we are so blessed that I got to have a kuya and a pastor like you. Um, but yeah, um, thank you so much for everything. You are such a blessing to me and I know that you are a blessing to so many other people. Um, yeah, we appreciate you. Love you. <clears throat> Hi, Kalisa. I'm happy Pastor's Appreciation Day. I just want to thank you, first of all, for sacrificing your whole life and moving to Westminster just to be the pastor of our church. Um, ever since you came here, you've impacted the lives of many youth, including myself, and I just want to thank you for always being there, especially during um, my lowest points in, my, in life. Um, yeah, we just want to thank you for everything that you've done for the church. Um, we are all here for you. Uh, we appreciate you. Happy Pastor's Appreciation Day. Hi, Kuya Sam. I just want to take this opportunity to, to thank you and to appreciate you. I know I don't say it a lot, but thank you, Talaga, for everything you've done personally in my life. And I know you have impacted so many people's um, lives.
from the church, from your family, um, from from Opa, from back home in the Philippines. You're a very great role model, and we can see it by your commitment, by uh, your willingness, um, and by your knowledge of the Lord. And it's it's truly inspiring. Um, again, I want to thank you for the things you have done in our church, from the youth from the wow, from the men of God, from the kids. Um, you've really helped, ever since you've been here, you've really helped people come out of their comfort zones or to to grow more in their relationship with God from your preachings, um, from your words of advice, from um, just reassuring them that they'll be okay because they have God in their life. and. It's it's a blessing, talaga, to have you in in my life and to other people's lives. Um, so yeah, thank you for um, your time. Uh, and yeah, happy Pastor's Appreciation Day. Hope you enjoy it. Love your daughter. We appreciate you, Pastor Sam. God bless you. We love you. See you soon. Happy Workers Day, Pastor Sam. May you continue to share the Word of God. And may God bless you. Mahal ka namin. See you soon. Happy Workers Day, Pastor slash Tito Sam. You are a blessing to us and continue to share the love and the Word of God. Hi, Pastor Sam. We just want you to know that we really appreciate everything that you do, all the selfless act that you do for the church. And always remember that all your sacrifices for the Lord will not be in vain. Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. Senor Sam, <laughs> Pastor Sam, <laughs> Kuya Sam, <laughs> um, Kuya, out of the many um, things that we appreciate from you as a servant of God, um, here are some na nilista ko um, just for this video. <laughs> One, we thank the Lord for all the big and small things that you do for the church. Siyempre, um, included na dun yung guiding the and uh, we also thank the Lord. We greatly thank the Lord for being a good example of living a life of faith. Yun talaga po yeah. that, That's um, one of the major appreciation um, na pwede namin na ibigay sa iyo. Um, you are such a blessing not only to the church but to many people as well. And we pray na you continue to be as such. God bless you po yeah. Ako nga, sabi ko lang, kapatid, sabi niya na, you're a joy and an inspiration to all of us. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 to 8 Therefore, brethren, be steadfast, in all, always abound in the words of the Lord, for your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Lahat ka na, sa'yo niya, no? Asawa na lang wala. Diba? <laughs> Therefore, beloved brethren, you're beloved. <laughs> diba? Be noble, steadfast, ikaw din yun. Always abounding in the words of the Lord. Ikaw din yun. For your labor is not in vain, yun. Kita naman namin. It's not in vain. So maraming maraming salamat sa buhay mo, Sam. Keep it strong in the Lord. There in Canada. Yes. We miss you and we love you. We miss you, Kuya. We love you. God bless. God bless. Three, go. Hello, Hello Pastor Sam. Happy Workers Appreciation Day. And speaking of appreciation, uh, we really appreciate you, especially when you are coming home here in the Philippines. We appreciate all your efforts. Uh, we appreciate how you show your love to the church, to our brethren here. And uh, we really appreciate uh, all the messages uh, that you preach when you are here. Uh, personally, ako ay nahihinabang sa mga mensahe na binatanong. Uh, continually to be a worker, 
Uh, nothing to be ashamed. Once again, happy Workers Appreciation Day. God bless, God bless you. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Happy Workers Day po sa lahat ng manggagawa ng Diyos. Alam ko na mahirap ang tungkuli ng isang manggagawa. Pero alam ko na kasama mo ang Diyos sa lahat ng iyong ginagawa. Salamat sa buhay mo na pinilaan mo para sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon at sa diyan sa IRM Lloyd Minister. Salamat sa mga Uh, pagsubok na iyong nalampasan at uh, haharapin. Alam ko na maraming maraming pagluha, maraming pag uh, maraming luha, maraming saya at uh, sakripisyo ang, iyo, ang iyong ginagawa. Pero ang lahat ng iyon ay hindi mawawala ng kabuluhan dahil alam ko na kasama mo ang Diyos sa lahat ng iyong ginagawang paglilingkod. Salamat sa buhay mo. At ang dalangin namin ay patuloy kang gamitin ng Panginoon sa iba't ibang gawain at nawa ay patuloy na palakasin pa ng Panginoon ang iyong pananampalataya at patuloy kang makapaglingkod sa Kanya. Pasensya na kung hindi kami nakarating ni Papa at ang mga kapatid mo dyan para personal kang mabati ng Happy Workers Day. Uh, kung may mga pagsubok na nararanasan, huwag ka lang uh, ipagkatiwala mo lang sa Panginoon. Ang lahat ng iyo, nandito rin kami. Uh, handang tumulong sa iyo. Uh, huwag ka mahihiyang magsabi. 